Hello everybody, I'm Garrett. You're watching 11 Bang Bang. Now, several months ago, I did a video on the Cimarron Thunderer, and that was a three and a half inch model. And today I have something a little different. I have the Cimarron Thunderer in a four and three quarter inch model. So what is that extra little bit of an inch and uh, inch and a quarter, basically? What does that do for you? Well, moves your sight radius further forward. So in theory, should make your hit probability a little better. Now, this has the bullseye ejector rod. Step back, cameraman. Has the bullseye ejector rod, as you can see from the front there. We have one of the big advantages to the four and three quarter inch gun is we have the standard ejector uh, length. So the ejector rod will kick the shells out all the way. Now, what are you giving up? Well, you're giving up a little bit of concealability and a little bit of ease of carry because that three and a half inch barrel does just fit in in your uh, large pocket or whatever you might have a little better. Now, I don't have a holster yet for the three and a half inch barrel gun uh, because Duke Fraser Productions is currently making me a very special holster for that little three and a half inch uh, Thunderer, but that's not what we're talking about. Today we have the four and three quarter inch Thunderer, so let's see what we can do with it. today and flinch that's probably why I'm not too good today all right so like I said oh well, lucky that one there fell right out but like I said the advantage here is the full-length ejector rod because you can kick them shells out all the way looky there out they come and so without further ado let's reload this bad boy all right, so we are going to do the cowboy load. Of course, you all know what that means. You don't have to necessarily. A lot of people say you absolutely have to. There is a safety notch on these guns that you could use. I'm not gonna get into that debate right now, but a lot of times you find historically that even though we talk about everybody using the cowboy load, if you look at a lot of the shootings, you'll find that there are a few too many bullets being fired for everybody to be using the cowboy load. So, but safety first. You want it to make sure it will never fire when you're not ready, put that hammer down on an empty. All right, so let's go over here and work on these two bottles and these three plates. Uh-oh, ain't quick. Well, that wasn't too bad. I missed one, but you know what? That extra inch and a quarter of barrel does help a little bit. Let's load her up one more time and clean that bottle off. What do you say? It's laughing at me. All right, let's try and see if we can take down the bottle. Can't do it off the empty, though. There we go. That makes me feel much better. Oh, it's going to give me another shot, huh? Oh, I went right there, huh? I hit it there, but I didn't move it around. All righty, let's go over here. I think I got two shots left. Let's try these plates. We got the elusive one. <laughs> the four and three quarter inch barrel with this bird's head grip, guys. That's a lot of fun. Let's load up one more time. All right, guys, I got three rounds left in here. Let's see if we can take out three bottles with three rounds. Uh-oh, that looks like not. Yeah. Well, anyway, of course, you know we have one more type of round to try in this gun before we, we get all carried away and finish the video. Let's load up some Plowboy loads. We are loaded up now with five rounds of the Plowboy Ghost Channel load. Now, I know you already all know this, but I'm going to say it again. This is a load that is historical, but... I had always heard that it was impossible to be done because modern cases couldn't hold it. So I looked around on the internet and lo and behold, one of my favorite channels, Old Plowboy's Ghost, had a video out showing exactly how it could be done. And ever since then, this has been officially known as the Plowboy Load on, well, basically all the way across YouTube. Anyway, the Plowboy Load, 255 grain bullet with 40 grains of Einsford 3F. See what she does in this thunderer. Oh yeah. Ah. 
And I flinched bad. But I will tell you one thing. With this bird's head grip, that big old heavy load, which I believe would match about any standard pressure non-magnum round you have out today, that bird's head grip does bite your palm a little bit. All right, guys, we did retrieve a bullet. That's all that's left from one of those Plowboys ghost load. That was once a 255 grain bullet. Not anymore. Throw that back in the pot and make another one, Caleb. So a few other things to mention. I know that a lot of you out there absolutely hate the idea of the Cimarron Thunderer because it is a single action gun. Before we get too far out there, we actually have both the original Thunderer and Lightning in 38 Colt and 41 Colt. And uh, I will say this, this gun for not being historically accurate, like I said, we have the originals and we shoot them. This gun right here is a lot easier to carry. This is a practical gun today. And I seriously think that Colt may have missed the boat by not putting this grip on a few of the single action armies because it is just that much easier to conceal, that much easier to carry. And let's face it, in an Old West uh, situation, 99% of the time these guns were carried and about 1% of the time were they ever used. You know, it was, it was more, it was a deterrent, you might say. Just like today, you know, it's not like gun smoke where they have a gunfight every week in the street in the same town. That wouldn't be many people left in that town. They would move somewhere else because they wouldn't be stupid. Stray bullets would be killing people and everything else all the time. So, for the practicality of the thing, I think this would have been an excellent choice that Colt should have probably made. And anyway, like I said, it's practical, and especially for today's carry in a cross draw, that works very well for horseback riding. And a lot of horseback riders put uh, bird's head grips like this on everything. So that's all we have for the Cimarron four and three quarters inch Thunderer. Now, which one do I like better? The three and a half inch Thunder or the four and three quarters? Well, I'll put it this way. I like the carryability of the three and a half but man, being able to hit a little better with that one and a quarter inch extra barrel, you know what? That might be worth its weight in gold. And besides, an inch and a quarter doesn't make that much difference. Plus, it makes it easier to find holsters for. Anyway, without being said, trust in God. Keep your powder dry. Bye. Bye.